Hi, I'm going to show you how to replace a blown out or kind of a drab dreary sky with a sky overlay in Photoshop Elements. This, um, these techniques I'm going to show you can be used in Elements 6 through 13. I am using Elements 12 right now, if you're wondering, uh, but all of the things I'm doing you can do in Elements 6 all the way to 13. So we have our image open in Elements and I'm going in the Expert module. And I'm going to go to File and Place, and then navigate to where you saved your skies. Okay, and I am going to click on Cloud Nine. It's the one I want, and I'm going to hit Place. Okay, now you don't have to use the whole picture. You can use like if the bottom looks better, and you want that part, you want more of um, something like that. Then you can make it bigger and stretch it out. It doesn't have to be the exact. Thing that you um, that you see it can just be part of it so I kind of want this is what I want I may even oops I may even move it up a little bit okay I like that I don't like that all right so that's where I want it now it's in my layers panel as a layer and I'm gonna hide it so I can come back to my original file my original image and I'm going to select this area that's blown out I'm going to use the quick selection tool. All right. If you don't see that, if you're seeing like the, the selection brush, that's okay. Just click on what's ever there, come down to the bottom, and then click the quick selection brush or tool. If you have elements 6 through 10, then you're just going to click and slide out, and then your options will show up for you. They've kind of changed um, before the the different tools that were nested together popped out right here. Now they come down here at the bottom. So I want the quick selection tool, but these other selection tools would work too. So if you have one you like, use that. This is what I'm going to use, and I'm going to make the hardness just a little bit less and want to add to my selection. So now I'm selecting the area that I want to get covered up by the new sky. But notice that it selected some of this background that I don't want to have sky um, go over. So now I'm going to use the subtract option and I'm going to subtract that area. So everywhere that um, is encased by these marching ants will have a sky in it when we're done. And I need to deselect that right here. I do want to select um, come back and do add to selection this little area inside her arm there. Oh, I need to deselect or subtract some. Oops, there we go. A little bit more of that. Okay. Alrighty. So now all the area inside the marching ants will be. Uh, we're going to create a mask for that. I'm going to come down here to refine edge. I'm in the um, toolbar for this particular brush or tool and if you're an element 6 through 10 it's going to be up here at the top okay you'll need to know your, where your, your toolbar is for your version of elements I'm going to click on refine edge and there's another way to get to that um, okay so if you don't choose down here you might be familiar with select and then refine edge it's really the same thing okay so either way and I'm just going to move my radius up a little bit and I'm going to feather it in some and I'm going to shift the edge and just play with it. See what happens when you move something down. So this really shifts the edge downward. If we go to the negatives, it's going to shift it up. And we don't want that because then we're going to create a halo. So I'm going to shift it down a little bit. Now the output. I want to click on where it says selection and I want to create a layer mask. And I'm going to hit OK. Now it's going to add a layer mask to my background. And I don't want it on my background. I want it on my sky. So we're going to Make it so that the sky only shows through where is white. Remember, white reveals and black conceals. So it's going to conceal the sky in the area that's black and reveal it in the area that's white. Now, in order to see that effect, I'm going to have to activate the layer. So now I'll activate the layer. So now you can see the sky is everywhere that white um, had been, okay, on this layer mask. And I want to blend it a little bit. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the... Um, Gradient tool, okay? Gradient tool. Now I want it to be black and white, so I'm going to hit black and white. Alright, I'm going to lower the layer opacity some, and then I'm just going to click 
can drag down a little bit. Oops. I need to reverse it. Okay. <laughs> I need to be on the layer mask. Make sure you're on the layer mask. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I think I was probably good before. And click and drag down. I did it again. All right. If you're not getting what you want, play with that reverse. There we go. So what this gradient does is that it uh, creates an additional kind of masking that, that shows the highest, its, op its um, opacity is the highest at the top, and then, it, and then it slowly covers it up in a gradual fashion. And we can, I'm just going to keep doing it until I kind of get the result I want. All right. We're getting a little bit of the previous um, sky here. See it? What you see right there? Okay, so what we can do is take our brush, a regular brush now, and make it smaller. Oh, and we want it to be, and I'm just gonna brush a little bit more like this so we can see more of that sky. All right, and less of what is below it. All right, there we go. So we went from that before to after. To save your file as a save your new image, you don't want to overwrite your previous, your original image. So we're going to go to layer and then flatten. And then we're going to go to File and Save As and save it as something different. So just add something on the end. Don't overwrite your original file um, so that you can come back to it. Maybe try a different sky or do something different with it. But um, that is how you can use the sky overlays to replace blown out or boring uh, skies.